Well, good morning, adventure rider here. I hope you're all well. Uh, we're just heading off to uh, the form-up point to make, meet up with um, the organisers of this event. Um, and the organise, it's run by, uh, I think it's the um, Victorian Northern Spider Riders is the name of the group. Uh, the event uh, that I mentioned is called um, Anointing of the Bone Shakers, I think. So I'm actually not quite sure uh, what it's about, but I do know we're heading to Echuca, uh where there'll be a bit of a bike meet there. And uh, and there is a, a, a there is a formal anointing by a, a reverend from the Anglican Church, I believe. Um, but, I, but I don't actually know what that entails. So no doubt we'll find out. Uh, I'm really keen to... Uh, look at these spiders. I think they're Can-Am spider. Spiders is the name of the bike and model. Um, I, I don't really know much about them. Um, I've never, certainly never ridden one. I've never ridden any uh, three-cycle bike, whether it be a trike or um, with uh, dual, rear, dual rear wheels or um, the spiders which have uh, dual front wheels and a single rear wheel. Uh, I'm not even sure. I, I, I'd assume it's a front wheel drive or something along those uh, lines. So. But anyway, like I said, this event will be interesting. Um, I'll try and interview the organiser like I did in my previous video at the uh, Bendigo Bike and Trike Night or Trike and Bike Night. If you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. It's uh, on the channel uh, where I interview the organiser of that. So, and then hopefully take some pics and uh, who knows, might even sit on one of those spiders um, and see what it feels like and I'll let you know. You can see I've got my uh, GPS there. Uh, remounted after that trip to um, the high country where I kept rattling off. Uh, it seems to be fairly stable now although I'm just on road so. And for those um, probably looking at the GPS and wondering what model it is, it's actually not an off-road or a motorbike uh, GPS, it's uh, just a car, um, Garmin. Um, and because I do mostly ride, uh, road riding, it works fine. Uh, I've got it mounted on the inside of my uh, glass screen or plastic screen there and I've put in a little rubber pad a bouncy sort of rubber so it can sit the bottom of the GPS just on top of it and it stops it from from vibrating or rattling as you can see it's pretty uh, pretty stable yeah so here we are just at the form-up point in Epsom oh, we've got a few here of the spiders as you can see. I'll, I'll do an interview with the organiser Maka um, after the, uh, the service up in the Chuka. But uh, I've got a couple of Harleys there, a couple of cruisers, beautiful bikes and uh, also uh, a number of uh, spiders and of course there's my bike there. So. Yeah back again. Just thought I'd uh, do a little bit of filming. I won't talk too much other than to say it's a beautiful day. It's crisp at the moment, but it's um, just lovely and sunny. And, and one thing I will say that most of you will probably also appreciate, it's really nice to ride with a group of people as opposed to being on your own. It's just nice to get to meet different people and uh, we all share a similar passion, which is great. So. I'll be quiet, might play a little bit of music in the background and uh, we're heading on our way at the moment to uh, Gornong. Again, just coming into Rochester. It's a lovely uh, little town, Rochester. Uh, like I said, a really nice pub. There's the pub uh, just up here on the right. And as we uh, go around the corner here, I don't know if you can see the side I want over there. Uh, probably a bit difficult to see it. 
might try and get a better shot on the way back. And uh, we're now leaving Rochester and heading up to uh, to Vichuca. Back again, just coming into the uh, township of Echuca. There's a couple of the uh, spiders just there. It's a really uh, old one there, not a spider. Just a, um, we'll have a look at that later. It's like a bit of a classic bike with a, uh, a sidecar. Yeah, so here we are at the uh, grounds of the Anglican Church here in uh, Atuka. I just thought I'd get a very quick um, shot of each of the spiders all lined up. Looks really good. Um, and we'll try and have a closer look one um, after the other. We've got the, here's a beautiful old bike here, oh, well, I feel, I feel. There we go, there's these, uh, the Harley Davidson. Beautiful looking bike. As I was mentioning before about the pillion options here, as you can see, a nice padded sculpted seat for pillion. Uh, much more comfortable than my bike and a lot of the other bikes. Better thing to do. I've just met the uh, Reverend. He's a really nice, uh, nice bloke, and I might even do a quick interview with him a bit later on. But I just thought while we're here in the church, I might, um, why not just do a bit of footage of it? Old church, uh, Reverend Phil, or we happen to be called Phil, um, said it was built around 1860. Fairly uh, small compared to today. Um, and if you just look, I love the architecture of these churches. Beautiful high ceilings, and of course, red light windows. And of course, the altar. craftsmanship and building was back in those days. Um, and up the top there, welcome up the top. Uh, welcome back everyone. We've got uh, one of the event organisers here, uh, Dennis McKenzie, and I thought um, we would just ask him a little bit about the event here of the um, anointing of the uh, bone shakers. So, good day. how are you Dennis? Go on, fine thanks. Good. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the event and the purpose of the event just generally? Sure. Um, the event was just a brainchild of a couple of us uh, three or four years ago. Uh, we wanted or wondered if we could have something like uh, the event that's an event that's held in, in Melbourne, uh, and we wanted to hold it in the central Victoria. So we came up with the idea. We uh, became friends with a, uh, a minister who was over at Tatura at the time, mm. and he showed uh, a lot of interest in, in being part of it. So mm. that's where it started, and mm. it's been going for three or four years. Okay, so once every year that, that sort of event 
We do. Once yeah. a year uh, at an, an appropriate time in the year when the weather's fine and um, we've got little else to do perhaps. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's when we do it once a year and yeah. I'd say by the gathering here yeah. on this occasion it'll certainly be a, a good going. A good one, yeah, good. So is it just limited to um, the can -Am Spider people or is it open to any sort of motorbike? Not at all. It's just a motorcycle riding uh, event for yeah. anybody who rides a motorcycle of any description, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, okay. If it's two, three, or yeah. whatever wheels, it oh, doesn't good. matter. As long as you're riding motorcycles yep. and you'd like to be a part of it, come yeah. and join us. No, great. Thanks for the, the invitation. Um, I was speaking very briefly to Reverend Phil. Um, who's going to, I think, provide do a little service, a, 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 an anointing or blessing of uh, type thing. But um, can you tell us a bit about the purpose of the service site? Like, what is it actually designed to do, the event? It's to perhaps highlight the fact that all motorcycle riders have a common cause, and that is to enjoy their motorcycles. And what better place than to have it in... Um, yeah place of worship or in the yeah. grounds of a place of worship yeah. uh, where we can come together be peaceful and uh, enjoy our riding yeah, good good and, and i believe there's going to be an anointing sort of helmets or something there will do you know be. much there about will that be, yes we'll have our helmets lined up um, it's only to well not only to represent but it represents those uh, who have always enjoyed their motorcycle riding but are no longer with us yeah. for whatever reason whether it's accident or ill health or whatever yeah. but we remember all the friends that we've had yeah. and have still got but particularly those that have passed away in the last yeah. 12 months or so yeah. so that'll be the uh, the reason for our helmets on the ground yeah. just another part of the yeah. brief part of the ceremony yeah great okay and then after that service there'll be um, i think someone was saying we'll just ride off and there will be um, what we'll have is uh, Reverend Phil will be actually blessing our riders and our motorcycles yeah. uh, with some uh, holy water, yeah. probably from the Capaspi or the Murray, <laughs> but it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter, it's been blessed. It's, it's been blessed, it's been yeah. uh, blessed by Reverend Phil, yeah. and he'll just uh, sprinkle us as we go past him, yeah. uh, and that'll be the end of the, uh, okay. the uh, day, really. Right. All right, well, look, thanks for that, um, for letting us know a little bit about the event. Um, and I'll, I'll try and catch up with Reverend Phil um, at some point, just get a few words yeah, from him as well. But absolutely. I really appreciate your time and, and hope the event uh, continues into the future. Oh, my pleasure. All right, thank you. Thank Ta you. Bye. It's just still morning, so I'll say good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for being here for our Anointing of the Bone Shakers event. My name is Phil. I am the Senior Minister of the Church here at Christ Church. On behalf of the Church, I'd like to welcome you onto uh, our space. It's great to have you here. Uh, I'll have more to say in a minute, but uh, where's Ian? Ian was going to say a quick word. Welcome. Thank you all for turning up today. What a glorious day. I know Phil's got uh, a message for us as uh, bikers, but I'm sure that the message will uh, reverberate with the, uh, the congregation that's arrived here today as well. Thank you all for turning up. I'd like to mention all of the, uh, uh, the bike groups that are here, um, but if I do that and I miss one, I'm going to be in trouble. So thank you all for your attendance today. I look forward to uh, another one. This is, uh, this is the first one we've had in Echuca. It's our fifth annual event, and it's, uh, uh, it's great to see everybody here. Thank you very much for your attendance that just to draw your attention to the program so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, we're going to hear from the bible i'm going to say a few words about that we're going to go into a time of prayer and remembrance of our fallen and then i'll invite people to uh, pick up their helmets uh, start their bikes and there'll be our blessing station if you like over here where two of us myself and reverend glennis is one of the uh, uh, ministers here at the church will uh, be able to bless the bikes two by two as they go by us very biblical isn't it two by two and uh, then you will be able to exit via the high street gates okay thanks Lynn. would you let me pray as we give thanks to god for this beautiful day heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful day and for the opportunity we have to gather here we do ask now that you will be with us by your spirit helping us to hear the message you have for us today in jesus name but you know, I want to talk to you about real power. 
real power. We've got some fantastic machines here. I want to thank everybody for bringing them. It's just amazing eye candy out there, isn't there? Today, part of what we're going to be doing is to remember our fallen. Death is a reality in the motorcycle community, as it is in other spheres of society. But as thrilling as the reopen road is, there are circumstances beyond our control that conspire against riders. So those of you who've come with your bikes and are representatives of the clubs, I'm honoured to pray for you today and send you off with a blessing. But you know, you don't have to rely on someone else, like me, to ask God to keep you safe as you ride. You have access to that power yourself. Jesus won't necessarily keep you from making mistakes or falling victim to other people's mistakes, but he can and will keep you safe for eternity. Jesus raised Lazarus as an example of his power over life and death, and he can do that for you too. All you have to do is ask. As we ride through communities filled with children, we pray that you keep us safe, smart, safe and visible on their neighbourhood roads. God of life, hear our prayer. We pray for those in the bike community who are suffering from mental health. We pray for those who live with depression, anxiety, PTSD, trauma and insomnia. We pray for your healing hand and comfort upon all those suffering from this mental anguish. God of life, hear our prayer. We ask your protection and blessing on all who ride on motorcycles of all types. Those going to work, postings, farmers and the police, as well as retirees, bike enthusiasts and those who rely on scooters for mobility. Keep us safe as we ride. God of life, hear our prayer. Lord God, we now commit our first responders to you. Police, ambulance services, CFA and SES who are always on standby to save lives on the road. Lord, please give them courage as they run toward danger and provide them with support to process the trauma of what they witness. God of life, hear our prayer. If anyone else would like to bring a, a helmet, if you haven't already, now's the time to do it. Now I ask you to observe a moment's silence as we remember the fallen. Thank you everybody. Uh, I'm so glad to see so many of the riders here today. It's wonderful to see uh, such a great roll up. Um, your patience has been wonderful. Thank you. The, um, the service has been uh, exceptional for us as bike riders. Uh, so thank you, Phil. And uh, uh, thank you to the uh, church community, the, uh, the, the coffee lady, barbecue, and of course the musicians who did a great job uh, um, making lots of noise behind us. That, and that's supposed to be a nice compliment. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your attendance. And the way with things will go now is that I will move over to the table. I invite the riders to grab their, uh, their helmets and I will uh, bless the um, water over there. And then if you could go and get your bikes, and file two by two past the blessing station and go out via the high street. Uh, Jags, there's nothing magical about the water. It's just a symbol of the spiritual reality of what we're doing, which is to offer you guys a blessing as you go. Start your engines. May God uphold you in the palm of his hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Well, welcome back, uh, everyone. Uh, as you can tell, the uh, the events, uh, well, most of the event has um, has concluded, uh, and it was good, to, really nice to see each of the bikers getting anointed by Reverend Phil. So, a special shout out to our emergency services who do a fantastic job and often in very stressful and challenging periods of time. So shout out to police, fire, ambulance and uh, State Emergency Service, SES, who do uh, a wonderful job every day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was something a little bit different today than uh, the events that we normally cover. Um, but that's good. I mean, that's what we're, the channel's here to promote. As I've always said, it's always about all types of bikes, makes and models and respecting all fellow riders regardless of what they ride. Um, I'm not an overly religious uh, person and I wasn't really aware what the event was going to be about today but um, it does make you reflect regardless of what religion you come from uh, on the fragility I suppose of humanity and and it's good just to, to have that sort of support from different communities whether it be church communities you know agencies councils whatever the case may be it's good to um to get that type of support record this but i just start uh, yeah just going through rochester and i thought i'd stop and show you the silo art um here at the possum man i think the borough um yeah so this is a nice little park area in rochester and you can see over the back there that's the rochester hotel um yeah so like i said earlier uh, there's quite a few of these now that are scattered throughout northwest victoria Here's the uh, township of Rochester, Rochester Hotel, which is a nice place to come if you're up this way for lunch. A couple of those bikes from the ride have stopped here, probably get some lunch. Hello everyone, welcome back to the next clip, just passing Lake Waruna, beautiful spot here in, uh, in Bendigo, nice place just to go for a walk around the lake or have a, a coffee or donut. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd sign off on my way in and I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who've tuned in and watched this video. Uh, and if you've managed to make it this far, you've done really well. I think I always say that. But um, now, look, I hope you enjoyed some of the content. Like I said, the, the channel's only new, and um, I just want to try and get a diverse range of different events in and things. Um, and, and as the channel aims to do, you know, all makes and models of bikes. Um, so I hope I can achieve that. I don't want to be narrow and just select a certain type of bike or category and um, it's more interesting I think when you look at different things. So thank you. It was a bit of a different, like I said earlier, it was a bit of a different event um, than what I would normally go to uh, in terms of, you know, different bikes of course. The, the spiders are something I really don't know much about. And uh, just the way your proceedings went, I didn't really have a chance to speak to some of the owners. I thought at the end of the event I would go up and actually speak to them about the bikes and have a close look at one, but the because uh, I was filming, I was the last one to leave, and uh, all of those that left actually just left and went. So there was no sort of you know catching up somewhere after the event. But never mind. I'm sure there's lots of video YouTube videos on those uh, can am spiders for those who want to have a look but anyway uh, i just wanted to say uh, thank you to you all uh, to those who followed our facebook page adventure rider um, really appreciate you following and liking the page uh, just really supports me like i said we're a very very young uh, very small channel once again um, if you do like the video please um, please push a like um, and I'm just trying to see where we'll go. I'll go left here. Yeah, please uh, like the video. It just helps 
get it out there a bit more and uh, really appreciate it if you if you want to but no pressure so thank you very much um, I'll head off now and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one cheers <laughs>